Wilson Hampton Hall play. Uh, every year, a group of students always puts on a, a play, uh, and this year is no different. Uh, they've worked for weeks now to put it together, costumes, rehearsals, all that sort of thing. Um, so without further ado, please put your hands together for Behind the Pageant. Was the night before the social, but all through the hall, not a creature was stirring, no motion at all. The stockings were hung in the JCR with care, in the hope that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The Anselmians were nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of quad vodkas danced in their heads. Lead on to the morning, and into the day, the Anselmians busy themselves, rehearsing for the play. Oh, um, are we late? No, 
they just started the play, but who the hell are you supposed to be? Yeah, the guards. Safety and security. You do realise the Christmas story is set in the Roman times. That means gladiator boots and swords, not guns and sunglasses. That is a good point. Let me just check. Um, no, you're not allowed in the club. <laughs> anyway, minor setback. I need to get prepared for my role. It's okay. The director is still the only people out there. They haven't even started the first act yet. So what are we doing back here? These guys are saying. Even though they're in the pageant, they don't know the Christmas story. Is that possible? Well, I suppose it is. I mean, people just think we'll pick it up through osmosis. Oh, what? What's osmosis? It means just by being around people who know the details, you'll somehow pick it up. And then being in a play about it. Exactly. So, how much of the script have you read? I mean, I don't really have lines to just do what I'm told. Really? Then go get me a soda. <laughs> <laughs> um, so how much of the story do you really know? Well, I think it starts out with that John the fat isn't being born, right? John the Baptist, you mean? Yeah, right. What were your spare's names again? I know. Elizabeth and uh Zachariah. Yeah, right. Yeah, I think that's it. He was at church and that traveling minister guy comes in, tells him his wife is going to have a baby. Look, you're close. Gather round, and we'll tell the story. So, on fateful night, well actually, I've got a better idea. Why not? You be Elizabeth, and you can be my best <coughs> right. All right, a speaking part. I'll be the angel Gabriel. Brilliant. Now, Zachariah, you're an old man and a priest, and you'll be offering incense onto the altar. Wouldn't that burn the carpeting? It's not that kind of altar, it's, it's more of a little stone. Oh, uh, hey, who do I get to be? Oh, you! You get to be the crowd that's praying outside. <laughs> Thank you. Now then, back to this. You're stood right here, offering incense onto the altar. The stove thing. Exactly. Now, you and your wife, both very old, <laughs> you both really want kids, but you can't have any. Dear God, I'm an old priest and I want a son. Like that. No, no, that, that won't do. Once again, but with more passion. How would you pray? Uh, okay. Dear God, I know you hear us when we pray. Me and Elizabeth have tried to do what's right all these years, and we'd really like to have a son. Um, Beautiful. Now in comes the angel. That's me. It is indeed. Do your bit. I am Gabriel. I stand in God's presence. You stand in his Christmas presence? Well, not quite that kind of presence. Right. Let, let me try that again. I am Gabriel. I stand right next to God. Don't be afraid, Zachariah. I'm not. You should be. I am? Okay. So, I throw down the court, weaving through the defenders. They clap, spin them, make a layup, and that time again, ah! Oh! <laughs> Elizabeth! <laughs> and you brought Zachariah. What? Don't you want to hear how we won the game? I was at the free throw line about to go in. Oh, Zachariah, look, 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 you won your stage? Yeah, yeah, yeah you're up. See ya. Nice to Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> that guy just doesn't block how to shut up. What are you guys doing? So we're running through the play, and we're at your bit. Without me? Uh, what am I supposed to be doing again? <laughs> you're praying. Outside. Okay, whatever. Don't be afraid, Zachariah. I'm not. Oh, wait. That's right. God has heard your prayers and your wife Elizabeth will have a son. His name will be John. Wait, wait, Where did my husband go? You told him to go outside and pray? Actually, it appears I have a bit of a beer problem. I'll be back in two. What happens next? Next, you don't believe Gabriel. Why don't I believe Gabriel? Because you're old, remember? Old people don't believe in angels. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. You think your wife can have a kid? No offence, but you are kind of like a grandma. Well, Gabriel, how can a grandma have a baby? The hard way. That's not what I say. Well, God's going to make it happen whether you believe it or not. But just to prove to you that he can do all things, you won't be able to speak until it happens. I won't. Nope. So I don't say anything else until the baby's born? Nope. Cool. I'm going to go get pizza. Why? why? Yes. Yes.
It's me, I'm the star. I always knew someday I'd be a star. I was born for the stage. Star and me go hand in hand. You know you're not that kind of star, right? A girl's got a dream. Why don't you take your talent to some sort of TV show or somewhere? Somewhere that's not here? Oh, gee, Queen Elizabeth. If it wasn't for me, the wise men would still be wandering around the desert looking for Jesus. Hey, yo, Elizabeth, we're up. Let's go. Well, it's been fun playing with you little people, but it's time for some more serious actresses to get to work. Bye. <laughs> Good riddance. God, some people, just because we don't have that many lines, doesn't mean we're insignificant. So, what happens next? Well, Elizabeth became pregnant with John the Baptist, but before he was born, Gabriel went to Mary. Here, you can be Mary. What, me? Yeah, we're running through the Christmas story. You can play Mary. Awesome. Hi, Mary. I'm Gabriel. You're highly favoured of God, and you're going to have a son. His name will be Jesus. Oh, actually, I think I know this bit. Um, behold, I've been handmade by the Lord. You were close. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord. Wait, what is this? She's saying that she's willing to do whatever God wants her to do. Yep, Dave, whatever God wants. I'm the girl. Come on, this was serious. This was a big decision for Mary to make. She was saying that he could create a child in her womb. My mom says God creates everything. <sighs> yeah, this is different. Oh. Oh, Christ, I love her this. <laughs> Let's see you explain this one. Oh, it is I, your king. No <laughs> 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 fan fan. Well, if it isn't King Horrid. That's King Herod, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you ready to see a knockout performance by this gentleman tonight? <laughs> Only if it's <laughs> you that gets knocked out. Okay, explain to me again. Why are you so hostile towards me? Are you kidding? You're the one who orders all his soldiers to go around killing the children of Bethlehem just because you didn't like Jesus. I mean, I can't really help it. It's in the script. If I could change it, I would. Oh, really? <laughs> That part now, let's see how you do. What do you mean? We're running too much play. Yeah, play yourself. Why not? Hey guys, what's up? Incubus. Incubus like, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, you two guards. Angels and God. Looks like the star and the director now. Take her, will you? Come do. Okay, horrid, this is the part where you stand there and shut up. Right, so Mary and Joseph go to Bethlehem. Uh, the next part. Okay, you two, what are you doing? What are you supposed to be? Uh, us? Oh, we're the wise men. We, can, we come from a flock, that sort of thing. Uh, whatever, okay, so right now you're Caesar Augustus. Uh, stand over here. And uh, what about me? You're the innkeeper, we'll get you in a minute. Right, this is the part where you issue the decree for everyone to get. I, Caesar Augustus, issued a decree. You're all getting taxed. You must go to your home cities and register. Okay, great. Um, and, um, right, Mary and Joseph go to Bethlehem. Um, and you, Joseph, you, you have volunteered, come on. Me? Yeah, you, you have volunteered. But I'm just a shepherd. Oh, yeah, but right now, you're, you're Joseph, come on. Why? Oh, just come on. Why am I Joseph? Who's Mary? Me, stupid. Right, Mary and Joseph, go to Bethlehem. Okay. Come on, and Mary was very oh, pregnant. You must be so tired, my darling. Oh, let's, let's go over here to this, to this, uh... Yeah, okay, okay. Oh, sorry, this is my part. Uh, nope, sorry, sir, no room. No room? What kind of institution are you running oh here? Oh, my God, <laughs> Joseph would not have said that. Yes, he would. He's been on the road for many miles. Just, just, just try again. Just try again. Sorry, sir, still no room. I can put you up in the manger if you'd like, though, my Please, sir. Me and my wife have been traveling for many miles. She's got a bun in the oven and she's ready to pop in <laughs> second. Please put us in, the, uh, in, a, in a room and not the manger. I'm a, happy to know I'm a very well regarded Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we head over to the car guard manger and Jesus is born. <laughs> what a lousy way to start life, eh? Well, it reminds me of my own. It didn't end all that plot either. I mean, 
born in a manga rather than a cross. Right. He was God's son. He chose to be born in a dirty old manger. He could have been born anywhere, but he chose that. And for his death, a dirty old cross. I suppose it just made his more dramatic rising a little bit more. Oh, come on. Don't, don't, you're kidding me, right? Kidding me, right? You always have the same. Don't even lie to me. It's just more authentic, isn't it? 